Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're jumping back into Alan Wake 2. We're getting really close to the end, but in the last episode, we played a saga and we went to Cauldron Lake with the old gods of Asgard and tried to use the clicker to rescue Wake from the dark place, and it seemed to not work. So in this episode, we'll be playing as Alan Wake and hopefully we can rescue him from the dark place. Parliament Tower, it was back. All right, let's get in here. Let's get back into Parliament Tower. So I think there's only a couple chapters left. So I don't think this will be the final episode, but we're getting really close. So, uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get back in here. See if we can find. Uh, so we're still searching for Alice. We just put the, um, the pictures in the box too, I as Alice. Many times before, I didn't know how many. This felt different, like my last chance. It wasn't already too late. Okay, so it's like our last chance. Okay. And I'm, I'm at, as Alan, not Alice. Alan, Alice, you know. Anyway, cue the, uh, the sexy elevator music, I guess. Do, 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 Is it going to flash at me again? Oh, no, it's not. Gone. In initiation nine. Okay. Nobody heard right. Was I too late? Great. <laughs> Scratch was in there, writing his horror story. There was still time to stop him. Okay, so I he's need to get inside. So I need to get inside of the uh, the writer's room. Okay. Um. So if he's in there, a dark place, the heart of Alice Wake. Okay. Let's look around some more before we do that. It looks like everything's empty though. So the art of Alice Wake. Alice Wake, not the heart. I need to learn to... Okay. Let's see what this has got. I don't like that noise. <laughs> I... rage inside of him. I can't stand it anymore. God, I tried so hard. I can't. I can't. A decision. Most of you won't understand. People call me an artist, but I don't care about any of that. I just wanted to show the world what I see. I can't keep going like I have been. It's time for a perspective shift. To go from photographer to subject. From artist to art.
scratch. Tortured her until she couldn't stand it anymore. Until she broke. And all that time, she thought it was me. Scratch was still here. He hadn't escaped the dark place yet. He was scratching my edits out of return. <laughs> I had seen this before. This was not Scratch. This was me. Caught in a loop. I had stopped myself trying to fix the manuscript. I was the one haunting Alice. It was always me. I killed her. will meet him when you're gone. We did bring Wake back from the dark place, with the song and the clicker. But he didn't end up here now. He landed on the shore after I faced Nightingale in the overlap. Wake here. He appeared because of this. The summoning. That was Wake. Scratch wasn't pretending to be Wake. They're the same person. He's here! Scratch! Watch out, Anderson! Estevez, Scratch is Wake with the dark presence inside him. He wants the clicker. Change of plan. I'll lure him to the cell. When we're inside, lock it. And blast it with all you got. All right, so <laughs> that was a lot to take in. Lost power. Miss me. Okay, so I've got to get that light turned around to the cell, I think. Come on. Jeez. This is going to be difficult. Come on. Come on. There we go. So what do I do? Just bring him over here? Oh gosh, I'm really close to death. Reload. Okay, is there anything else I need to do? What do I... Like, do I need to... I already rotated it. Oh, there's another one. Okay. 
I didn't realize that. I know, I see it now. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, get him, 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 get him. I can trap him with a light if you slow him down. Get him. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, he killed me, so we <laughs> gotta start over. Anderson, pin him down with gunfire for me to get the light on. Crap. I need to heal first, I think that's what I need to do. Okay, let's go. Can I? Shoot! Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. He's coming for you. He's coming. It's fine. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're Gucci. <laughs> hit you in the hit you in the noggin there, Alan. How you doing, or scratcher? Alright. This is very like Oh gosh. Great. Oh, I don't have any space in my inventory at all. Come on. Come on. Lights are out. Hang in there, Anderson. Okay. Move, move. Jeez. There's something wonky with these controls right now. Like they're just not working half the time. Jeez. All right. Next time we stun him, I'm gonna have to heal. Oh, I didn't do anything. Come on. Here we go. Cool. Dude, what ammo did you give me? Oh, there we go. Alright. Tag him. I mean, if you're going to hang out back there, I'll just come over here. Great. <laughs> of course. I get on there and he teleports. Come on, get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Jeez. Let's go. Okay. Is there another one, or did I just not fully complete that other one? I don't- I don't think I fully completed that other one. Okay, that works. Get him! Okay. Now what do I do?
hate to be the bearer of bad news, folks, but it's official. Tear Fest is cancelled. Today, Bright Falls feels a little less bright. All right, so that was a lot to take in. We need to get to our next gig. Um, I'm doing this for you and our lovely saga. You okay. Take care of things on this side. Don't screw it up, Tom. I'd seen it all play out like a horror movie I'd been forced to watch. The dark presence held all the cards now. Talk to Agent S. Smith. Okay, so we got rid of Scratch out of Allen, but now he's in Casey. Over here. So we didn't really fix <laughs> anything. <laughs> and now, so I assume that Saga's in the dark place now, and the old gods of Asgard are in there, is going in there right. as well. The shadow out of you? Yeah. Some good news, at least. The bad me. news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. The shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. It's never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is, are you able to fix this? I can try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. <laughs> Scratch, the dark presence inside Casey. It threw Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out with the power of rock and roll. I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. <laughs> What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the Dark Presence is occupying Agent Casey? When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he is the clicker. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. Well, you won't get very far without these. This plan is a real Hail Mary wake. I wish I could help, but this is all on you. I got you every kind of weapon we have available. Don't fuck it up. Oh, I'll do my best to probably screw everything up. I needed a car. The FBI vehicle would be at the parking lot. Okay. So, I'm going to take all this stuff here. Wow, inventory is super small. There we go. Um, so, I got to get back up to the parking lot. Okay. Uh, let's check over here, see if there's anything. Uh, nothing left in these crates. Okay. Anything over here? No, 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 no. Okay, so we're gonna have to get up there. Um, first, though, we're gonna need to do some stuff over here. So, oh, these are already. Okay, cool. Yeah, they're already where they need to be. Okay, so uh, let me see. Can I get up from this way? Probably not. I'll probably have to go back the other way. Oh, maybe, maybe we can. Okay. I was awake again. Neat clear-headed for the first time in what felt like a lifetime. He was awake again. I was back exactly <laughs> where I left. A dark forest outside Bright Falls. A gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other. Haunted by my own writing. Alice taken from me. I knew what to, I had to do. I'm trying to Stop read what's on the horror story from coming true. Stop the dark presence. I'm trying to read what's on the back of his jacket. Oh, it's the Calavella Knights or whatever. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So we're going to get back up to the uh, the parking lot and 
Okay. Well. Miss me. You jerk. Jeez. Okay. I was going to say, I was going to get back up there, and if anything crazy happened, I'd bring you back, but, you know, something crazy just happened. So. Yeah, there's that. Okay. So that's already been searched. Damn it, Saga. You've gotten all the goodies. Okay. So, I also am under the impression, not impression, I believe I've, I've been told, I think my brother told me because he's played this, that in order to fully g to get the real ending of the game, you have to play through the game again. So, we're going to get one ending. Jeez. Um... And then eventually I'm going to get around to replaying it and recording the other ending. Jeez. Reload. Dude. Come on. Jeez. I am absolutely terrible at this. Okay, so I've wasted like all of my ammo already. And they're not dropping any. That's great. Um, oh crap, do I go this way? I don't really know. Uh, I think so. Yeah. So we can't get up that way anymore. It's like forcing us to go a certain way, which is fine. Uh, looks like there's another light up here. Probably gotta be more people. Yeah, we're kind of sneaking. Okay, I know where I'm at now. Okay. And get in here. So we got uh, all sorts of goodies here. Cool. Okay, let's go ahead and switch back to this and reload. Yeah, this is the the scene where Nightingale's body was found on this table here. So okay. Come on, why isn't that doing anything? Okay. Jeez. What you gonna do, huh? That's what I thought. Sit down. Hope it's all of them. Here we go. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. I don't like it at all. We've got three bolts left in again. Place, the dark presence went into me. When I was pulled back here, crossing over weakened it, made it dormant. I couldn't remember what had happened. But I could feel it, getting stronger, waking up. I thought it was hunting me, closing in. It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over. Turned me into scratch. So what's going on in here? Not doing anything. Activity detected. Okay, so that's just what this thing was, was for, to, to detect any activity. That's why um, the uh, Ilmo was up here with that guy at the beginning of the game as well. They were working on it. And now it's like kind of making sense because he was in the cult of the tree, but they were actually the good guys the whole time. So, or, you know, the, the good guys in a sense, I guess, you know, they were still like off and people, but they were bad guys. So I guess it's okay. It's like a Dexter situation in a sense. So in the, the pictures of Alice, whenever she, um, offed herself it looked like she was overlooking cauldron lake so i'm wondering if she actually went into cauldron lake 
and didn't actually kill herself. Right falls. See this through to the end. Okay, so we're gonna go there, but um, but yeah, I think that from like I, I feel like she went into Cauldron Lake because that's like where everything happened with Alan. So maybe she's not actually dead. Maybe she's just in the dark place as well. So that's my thoughts on it. I brought Saga Anderson into this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. Saga, Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. In 2010, I had dived in. A leap of faith for Alice, with no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. It had taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead because of me. And I was going to make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. Another way to look at it? I had brought the dark place here with me. I never had gotten out. Maybe after this I finally could. It was a fool's hope. I had no choice. I had to do it. That didn't make me any less terrified. Fuck it. Okay, so this all right. Not what I expected. Yeah. Um, it looks like he wrote this maybe part of the story to like confuse me to confuse him. Okay, bowling row. Okay, so what 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 do we need to do? Explore Bright Falls, okay. So do we have a map? We do not. Okay, that's fine. Can we go we can't go into our Those are the guys from the beginning. Okay. So they're bringing everybody back. Okay, let's check out in here. Hello, I'm Ilma Koskela, and welcome to the Koskela Brothers Book Club. This week, we will review the highly anticipated new novel by Alan Wake, Return. Return is printed on a firm, high-quality, white offset, uncoated paper stock, making every page a true delight to turn in your fingertips. Alan Wake's brilliance is on full display with his choice of a hardcover book jacket made of a premium enamel stock with gloss lamination that is both tasteful and pleasant to the touch. Isn't that right? It's so sad! <laughs> no. But I can say without hesitation that return contains the best and most compelling book description on a back cover that I have ever read. This book blurb is truly riveting and will keep you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. It is accompanied by a tasteful photograph of Alan Wake's home here in Bright Falls. The book weighs one pound and three ounces. Return is a true masterpiece. I'll give it a perfect score of five Alma beers out of five. How about you? His shadow's there. It's so sad. <laughs> there you have it. Alan Wake has done it again. This was the Costco Brothers Book Club. Cheers. OK. 
Okay, so we're gonna have to find a copy of that. Okay, so it's got that achievement. Um, so we're gonna have to find a copy of it so we can rewrite the ending. Um, yeah, that was sad though. Cause Yako's dead. I needed to get a copy of Return. I needed to read the ending to have a shot at changing it. Okay. Oh, Bright Falls Bookshop. Inside Scratch's ending, a perverse version of reality. The townspeople brainwashed. Everyone and everything revolved around Return, as if it had just been published. Okay, so they're sold out. So we're gonna have to maybe yank it off of somebody, just like steal it. Okay. The tragedy of Saga losing her family is a blatant commentary on a woman's struggle to balance her personal and professional lives. Oh, there's this that we uh, completed. Okay. <laughs> All right. So there's just so much going on, so much to look at. So if I had to guess, wait, what's going on here? Um, fairy. Somebody giving a speech. Oh, is that Elmo? You gonna say anything? No. Okay. Can I get up? No, I can't get up there. Hey, look, it's me. There we go. Found it. I was going to say if I had to guess it was going to be in the lodge, but it's, it's not. The windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go to rewrite the ending of Return. Sick, sick story. Run. Nope. I can get out the back. I'm glad that we've been here before. Room to stop this horror story. This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare, all revolving around a vain monster of a writer and his final divine work of art. The novel return come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading. Okay. Okay, so wait, what's this? Can we close that? Yeah, let's close it. I needed to reach the writer's room. Write a new conclusion. Was Scratch's insecure need for fame, for praise, drawn from my psyche? Oh, it's the ring. His sick fantasy crashing down around him. So Wake's house in this story is the. Valhalla nursing home. That's why is the room was there. Okay. I didn't put that together before. Great. I had to find another way inside. Oh, I think I know how to get inside and I don't want to go that way. Yep. We're gonna have to, to go through here. <laughs> Where are the lights at? Of course. But didn't I, didn't I unlock all this stuff? Didn't I? You can't just hop the fence. You can't just hop the fence. <laughs> okay, fine. All right. Alice. Hey, what up, girl? What was that? Alice was dead. Was this a trap? Or was Scratch torturing me? I don't think she's dead. Like. This, uh, I mean, it's hard to tell, like, what exactly is the reality and what isn't. Oh, I can't even select my guns right now. Okay, that's great. Um, however, where he was whenever he found out that she was dead was not real. It was in the dark place. Alan. 
So I think that she's actually trapped in the dark place, and now she's manifesting and talking to Alan through that. I think it's this way, yeah. I see you. I'm coming. Run. Oh, that's just great. Run, 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 run. Great. Dude, language. Let's go, 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 go. Let's get out of here. Oh, thank God. Rose, right? From the diner. How are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. Oh, I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what I can. All right. <laughs> so she, is she crazy, or is like somebody else leading her to do that? Upstairs. Maybe it's. The writer's room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. Maybe it was Scratch that was leading her to do that. That's not good. And, like, leading her to trap me. Uh-oh. We loop around and come to Keter, Tom. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and Pileda. Water is the oldest bulb. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can give life or drown it. Akti, I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm, now there's a devil in the fish trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. <laughs> okay. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. The matter is a stake. Now comes the end of the rhyme. Thank you, Ati. I love Ati. Okay. Writer's room, new scene. Okay, so. I to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right. Oh, great. Okay, so let's take a look at this real quick. I needed an ending that took everything already in return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. Okay, Eternal Deerfest, the novel return come true. My final divine work of art. First granted to the people of Bright Falls, and over time it would spread. The celebration reaching everyone. Okay. So I gotta rewrite the ending of return. Hopefully it doesn't want me to actually write it, because I suck at writing. I'll just write, Alan wins, brings Saga back. Return's ending was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Okay. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. 
Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. Okay, down. Oh, yeah, that's right. I gotta go back to this side. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is Aero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. The ending will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. Okay, so are we going to have to sacrifice ourselves? It's probably what, I mean, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, and by ourselves, I mean Alan. The dark horror ending to save them all. The hero must pay the price. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before, but it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker. What's going on? Am I in the field office? I don't know. It's the mine place. Yeah, she definitely saved. Uh, did she save herself by going into the, her mine place? It's working. I can't think straight. Okay. Where is everything? Yeah, everything's just gone. I can't sense anyone. Okay. My work. It's all gone. What the hell is happening? It's like it's taking her memories from her. Okay. Can we can we go? I can't leave. Why can't I leave? Okay, so we can the mind place. The dark presence took over Casey. Stole the clicker from me. The last thing I remember is him throwing me into Cauldron Lake. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. That wasn't me. Was it? Uh, I don't know. Oh, wow. What? Failed who? Okay, it's What's like it's almost... The case board? Yeah, it's like it's writing itself. My mind feels groggy. Why am I in my mind place? And why can't I leave? Something is very wrong here. This is the dark place. I'm in danger. I have to get out of here. Scratch took the clicker. So the dark presence took Casey. Casey is Scratch now and he has the clicker. Scratch threw me into Cauldron Lake. I remember sinking, but that doesn't explain why I'm in the mind place. Other saga. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. She's right. Cauldron Lake is in the gateway. It is the gateway to the dark place. I'm in the dark place. Yeah. So we got to find some stuff here. Um, okay. So profiling. So we're going to profile ourselves. Other saga. Others. Uh, okay. Failed them. The board says I failed them. Who's them? I let everyone down. Logan, Casey, myself. This is my fault. My daughter is dead. My partner was taken over by a monster. I'm trapped in the dark place. Powerless. I'm not powerless. What is happening here? This isn't me. So that's like her if she didn't have like her her mind place and like her abilities and know what's going on in the story. It's like it's almost like that's the story that 
Scratch was trying to write for her, but now she's like seeing the other side of like what she would have been if she doesn't, if she didn't realize how things were with the story and the alternate realities and things like that. So, all right, so Casey. Casey. Casey depended on me and I let him down. I wasn't watching his back. I got wrapped up chasing the wrong lead. He needed me. Now he's turned into a monster. He needed me. I mean, yeah, but you, you were trying to get, I mean, you, I don't think she could have ever really realized that it was going to go from, uh, from Alan into Casey though. So I don't, I don't know why she's blaming herself for that, but that's okay. Logan. So that's her daughter. Logan. I neglected my family for my job. I was too thrilled by the cases, the mysteries. I liked how dangerous the work was. And now that danger has destroyed my family. It killed my daughter. No. Okay, yeah. This is like what the story is in this reality. And the other saga... Fucking wrong here. Language, family show. Um, But this is like her seeing what that reality would have been with, you know, if it was actually real. Okay, so how do I leave? So you you failed them, your partner. Scratch took Casey, and it's my fucking fault. Language. I'm a terrible mother. I let my daughter die. I'm a failure. This is what I deserve. Okay, that's crazy. Okay, yeah, so yeah, it's like all the negative stuff. You were a terrible partner. You're, it's your fault he got hurt. You lost your mind. You were a terrible detective. Logan died because of you. You were a terrible mom. Okay. Go back to here. And then the horror story. The story. My life, my family is just part of a book. Another white asshole deciding what I get to do, how I get to do it. He took my daughter from me. I'll never be free of this story from him. He used her. I mean, yeah, like, it's it's a little messed up that, like, that Alan used real people in his story, and then it actually affected him. Now, whether or not he knew that it was going to do that, but... Scratch. Either way, <laughs> it's a, Casey now, like he used Wake. It's a little messed up. Okay, I couldn't protect Casey from scratch. Um, there we go. It's Casey's gone. Casey's gone. It's all your fault. Logan is dead. She's not dead. God damn it. Hey, you're the only one who won't accept she's dead. What well, makes more sense? Everyone is wrong, or you are. If you hadn't been at work, she'd still be alive. She died alone and scared, begging you for help, and you weren't there. Oh, jeez, that's so sad. As the water filled her lungs, she realized you weren't coming. Oh, they're getting, they're fading out. Oh, no. Can you even still call yourself a mother after you let her, let your only child die? No! I'm done with this. It just keeps coming back. You're blaming a horror story instead of yourself. You coward. Admit she's dead and you killed her. You killed her. You killed her. Yeah, it's like it's trying to convince us that she is... I uh, never should have trusted these. Yeah, I never should have trusted those. So there's Night Springs. We're going to get to that after we finish the game. Um, yeah, let's take a look at all this stuff here. Oh, can we... This case. This room. Is any of it even real? Yeah. This has all been a hallucination. Casey was hurt. I should have been watching his back. Yeah, well, he said he wasn't going to, like... <laughs> you couldn't stop him from coming. 
Okay, so we got some stuff here too. Corrupted, and I did nothing. Okay, injury report. Alex Casey, FBI. Description of injury. 2218. Subject seems physically weakened with some confusion about his whereabouts and events. Concussion. Similar symptoms to those becoming shaded individuals. Exposure to the shadow is suspected but not confirmed. So what he, he was, since he was exposed, or, you know, supposedly ex exposed, he was becoming a shad shaded individual. So one of the shadow people. You knew he was hurt. You knew the dark presence did something to him. You didn't care. You only pretended to care when it was convenient. And the second he became a liability, you let Scratch have him. Now, that's not true. <laughs> it's not true at all. It's the, it's the, it's, it's Scratch's way of trying to get us to think that. Scratch was wake. How could I miss that? The transcript of interview with subject Alan Wake suspected para-utilitarian. Location, Bright Falls, Washington. Interviewer, Kirian Estevez, lead agent. Kirian, Mr. Wake, you have been taken into FBC custody and will receive an in-depth interrogation at a later date, but for now I need to ask if, is, if there is anything you can tell us regarding the incident at the hotel, anything we may need to know. Alan, there is a force here you don't understand. A presence, it's after me. It wants to consume me, consume everything. Kirian, yes, you mentioned this dark presence before. There were so many hints. How did you miss this wake with scratch? It was right under your nose. It was scratch. It was scratch. It was scratch. Uh, scratch was wake. Scratch was wake. Okay. Yeah, I mean... Did I miss a bunch of stuff? I'm trying. Okay. Uh, Wake was scratch all along, and I had no idea. Probably you were a terrible detective. Yep. Idiot, idiot, idiot. I ignored the fact that the dark presence was affecting Casey. Uh, you should have never brought him to Cauldron Lake right to scratch. Casey was injured because I left him behind. Oh, no, it's going to be right here. He needed backup and you weren't there. This is all, ha this has all been a hallucination. It feels like I'm trapped in a nightmare. Stuck in an echo chamber with all my fears, my doubts, my insecurities. Okay. I used manuscript pages as a crutch instead of doing my job. Shadow monsters, false realities, magical writers, really. The pages were your excuse for always being one step behind. Oof. Oh, here's some more oh, stuff so here. so obvious the Koskala brothers were behind the cult. But the cult wasn't a bad thing, though. Right? The cult was just the beginning of the spiral. Okay. Some stuff over here. So this is oh, is our bed? What's that doing here? I spent too much time away from Logan. Okay. Is there more stuff on profiling yet? No. Okay. Oh, there's something over here as well. So there's night springs there. I don't want to click that, but I've had it with you, cultist maniac. I never should have left Casey at the hotel by himself. Yeah. That was probably a bad move, but, you know, we all make mistakes, right? Um, okay, I abandoned my partner to investigate on my own. You were so eager to be in charge that you left him behind. Logan was alone. She spent every day by herself in that trailer. Oh, it's so sad. Casey was wrong to put his trust in me. You messed this case up so badly that the FBC took over. Ilmo and Yako were running the cult right under your nose. I hate this, but it's all true. I had tried to silence these thoughts, focus on the case, but I can't escape them anymore. I'm drowning. I need a way out before I'm dragged under. Okay, so there we go. We've got, um, still profile. Jeez! 
Holy crap balls! I was just not... Not expecting that, not here. <laughs> okay, a way out. No. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. Oh god. None of this is real. I've lost it. I'm not even here. The mind place isn't real. A case about supernatural darkness. I'm having a full-on psychotic break. I dragged Logan away to a tin can in Watery. She's dead because of me. There has to be a way out. Okay, I need a way out. I need a way out. It's over. There's no point trying. Everything is lost. There's no way out. No way to fix this. There's no way out. I'm stuck here forever. Just me and my past. My guilt. My mistakes. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm stuck. But this is my mind place. My mind. Everything I need is here. It, it has to be. Yeah, that's right. I was going to say, you got to take control. Oh, the lights. No. No. I'm not giving up. Focus, Saga. The answers I need are here somewhere. I just have to look. Okay, so there we got a flashlight. The Night Springs thing is so tempting to do. Like, it, it really is, but I want to wait. Okay, so there's a badge. Have taken this case. Hey, hey. Saga. I'm calling to say thanks for your note. Oh, sometimes I just get in my head too much. So, thanks for pulling me out. You're really the best, mom. Really. Okay. Talk soon. Okay. Saga, for what it's worth, I think it's important that Logan grows up seeing you do what you love. What you're great at. That will teach her so much. There will be times just like this when you can question your choices, your competence, even your own sanity. When things get dark, remember to trust and love yourself as much as your family does. You won't always you won't be perfect, but I know you'll be amazing. Love always, mom. Okay. Okay, so more stuff's opening up. Logan. The horror story used her. Yep. Yeah, snap back to reality. Right, there's our mug. Not the worst, Mom. Don't make a big deal out of it, Mom. No hugs, no hugs. Huh. Not the worst, Mom. That's pretty funny. Scratch was too much for us. I should have made KC stay behind. There we go. Stop blaming yourself, Anderson. A knife in the arm is just, just part of the job. If you're gonna keep fussing, you can get the hell out. But leave the whiskey. <laughs> leave the whiskey. Okay. All right. I uh, think that might be everything. No, there's something over here as well. There we go. I am honored by this award. Thank you. Thank you. While our agency must continue to improve, the work we do here, protecting communities, pursuing the truth, it's the most important work there is. All right, so there's your certificate. Supervisor of Special Agent Stacy Morrow. No, I don't really know who that is. I'm not reading anymore. Yeah, no more of those. There we go. Hey, mom, I made you a charm bracelet for good luck. 
I made a matching one for me, so bring me back something cool from Washington. Okay, yep, there's the charm bracelet. Ah, Night Springs. Oh, there's something over here. There's so many goodies to find. Anderson, uh, look, look. After Rand left, it was, uh, well, well, I was in a, was in a bad, bad place. place. You dragging me to those dinners at your house with your family, uh, it really, uh, meant a lot. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. So they were pretty close. Like, she helped him through his divorce and stuff. That's really cool. Alright. Let's get back to the case board here. I think that's everything that we found. Okay. Photo of Casey at Logan's birthday party. Casey there we trusts go. Me. Yep. I know he does. He isn't just a partner, he's family. Again. Nope. You stop that. Um, Logan made matching charm bracelets. Okay, yeah, there we go. Wait, what? Yeah, oh, okay, it's Logan just a... Logan isn't anyone's plot device. She's my daughter. And she's not dead. She's dead! She's dead! She's not! She wanted us to I stay connected. Okay. Alright, manuscript pages can't change reality. story is a delusion you invented to hide from the truth. Yeah, doubt. Combination I received from the FBI. I can't let this place make me question myself. I know what I'm doing. I do what I'm doing. Okay. Bottle of whiskey I gave Casey whenever he was in the hospital. It's not too late. I can still save them. No matter what I do, someone will get hurt. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. I'm my own worst enemy. The fears in my head are stopping me from trying. From leaving. Okay. Casey's never blamed me for whenever things go sideways. It's all part of the job. The mug Logan gave me. All right. I'm not a perfect mom, but I'm doing my best. Logan was just being nice when she gave me that mug. I never deserved her. I brought this mug with me on every case. I go where work takes me, but I never forget where home is. Logan's death broke something inside of me. You couldn't face what happened. You were so cracked. So you so <laughs> so, so so you cracked. Okay. Reassuring note from my mom. It's okay to be afraid. But I can't let this end here. I can't, I can't, I can't. I just, I just want it to stop. Giving up won't make this stop. Logan needs me. Casey needs me. Okay. I'm leaving. All right, let's get over here. Profiling. I am leaving. I've made mistakes. I'll make more. But I can do better. And I can start by leaving this room. I'm afraid it will hurt. But nothing will hurt more than not trying to save them. It will hurt. But I will fight. Okay. I can leave by overcoming my doubts and fears. All right. But boom. Good thunk. Case friggin' the closed. The tried to trap me here. The only way to leave is facing it head on. Wake called it a nightmare. I need to dive into that nightmare and find a way back home. Yeah, you got to overcome the, the fears. I've, it's probably going to put a lot of uh, these things into her head. The Dark Place tried to weaponize my anxieties against me. I won't let it turn me into a Taken. I'm stronger than this and Logan needs me. Ah, ha, 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 we've got everything now. Everything's back. Try to protect Tor and Odin while they perform the song. Scratch will likely show up. I should be ready for that too. Okay. We got all these cases put in here. The story. Are these opened up? Oh, still for later? Come on now. All right, fine. Yep, so all the radio stuff's back. Television stuff. Yep. Cool. And the manuscript pages? We could. She doesn't want to, though. 
Yep. Cool. So everything's back. Uh, weapon upgrades. Yep. Neat. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. Let's talk to there. Let's see this guy first. Wait. Oh. Miss you, kiddo. I'll be home soon. All right. So some of that stuff opened up too. I didn't see that one before. If only the rest of the bureau knew what a softy Casey is. Huh. It's so. This game was so well made. Like the going between motion capture and actual acting. And I was going to say this earlier, but I think that's the first time in this scene, these scenes that we've actually seen the actress that plays Saga, like her acting. But I, I can't remember. It's been so long, but I feel like that's the first time that we've actually seen her. Four remaining. Four remaining. Four remaining. Maybe we have to use the deer as like a guide? Payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Oh, we're in. Is this the same? It feels like the same city that Alan was in, yeah. But things are different. Okay. So this, get to Parliament Tower Plaza. So, I mean, right here is where it should be, but it's not, is it? No, it's not. Our buddy's here. Okay. So yeah, this is, I mean, it's obviously the dark place. So it's a lot different for us than Alan, but it's also very similar. Okay, speak to Sheriff Breaker. Oh, what's up, man? You're just hanging out on the, the bench Agent here? Agent Anderson. Is that really you? Sorry, this place likes to play tricks. Sheriff Breaker? What happened to you? How did you end up in the dark place? I was brought here. Snatched away from the morgue by a man named Orlin Dorr. Been trying to piece it together for... Well, it feels like a long time now. I need to get to Parliament Tower Plaza. Do you have any idea where it is? This place, it's like trying to find your way around in a dream. I've been trying to map it, but it keeps looping, shifting. Like... There were many versions stacked on top of each other. There is a page. Describes Dor finding his way through this place. I tried to follow the steps, but... No luck. Who is this Dor person? He's here. Somewhere. I've been seeing his face in my dreams for years. <laughs> this whole thing is insane. But he is much more than he seems. He's connected to all of this. Okay, so we can actually go back into our mind place here. Good, good. Can I see that page, Tim? Of course. In fact, it's the page I tried to give you back in the morgue in Bright Falls. Huh. Now that I think about it, maybe Dor brought me here to keep you from reading it. 
Ah, okay. Man, that was like episode one or two. Man. I'm gonna keep looking for door. The closer I get, the closer I feel to waking up. I need to find the man behind the curtain. Morling Door walked across the rain slick tiles of Caldera Street Plaza. He stopped at the door to the construction yard. A poster for his talk show hung there. He stepped through, willing it to take him to Parliament Tower Plaza. I know what I need to do. The door to Parliament Tower Plaza was at the construction yard. Okay. Let's go over here. Um, door traverses the dark place. Warland Door walked across the rain slick tiles of Caldera Street Plaza. The rain didn't seem to touch him. He sensed his steps were being observed, documented into the story. He allowed it, this one time for this one reason, to be passed on by his unwilling disciple to read at the right time. The ocean that was the dark place took the shape of New York City, drawn for the mind of Alan Wake, in part for the writer to navigate his prison, in part to torment him as he struggled to find his way out. Dora was not bound by the rules as Wake was. He came and went as he pleased. For now, Dora entertained the writer's fantasy for a purpose known only to him. At the edge of the plaza, he stopped at the door to the construction yard. A poster for his talk show hung there, another part of Wake's fiction. He stepped through, willing it to take him to Parliament Tower Plaza. Okay, so if we just go to that construction yard, right, and then will it to take us to tower then we should it should just take us right so mr door warlin door this is the first time i've seen a page about warlin door who is he a door that stands between two rooms is in both a door that can lead anywhere is everywhere that door is the center he governs the currents of reality with all the powers mixed up in this it's hard to know who's playing who. Opening too many doors. <laughs> this isn't important right now. I can look into it later. Okay. So moving to the dark place. So he is the constant that's the same between both places. That's why he can go from one place to another whenever he wants. Because he's, like you said, like a door that's in two rooms. Or a door that connects two rooms is in both rooms. So, yeah. The page describes him moving through the door. How can I do that? The dark place has many faces and many names. It is a mirror reflecting all possible realities. The family of doors have the power to shift between these realities, here and elsewhere. If I can find a way to navigate through this nightmare, maybe I can find a way to get back home. Okay. So is there anything up or not there here? Case board? I don't believe so, no. Yeah, because all these are for later. Okay. Let's go. So the construction yard. Um, I'm not exactly sure where that would be. What side is that on? Um, do we have a map? It's not, no, it's not going to help us at all. Okay. Let's turn this back on. Don't write return. Whoa. Oh, it turned us back around. It won't let us go that way. Okay. We come down this way then? Nope. Hey, that's that's wild. Okay, I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> like, that. all right. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of good because we know that we can't go that way. Okay, so I successfully broke the game. Um, yeah. So I've been searching around uh, for a good bit, and uh, yeah, I found uh, I found the end of the game. This is it. Nope. There we go. We have officially broken the game. <laughs> Uh, whoops. Yeah, there's a spot back in there where you can just keep going, and I fell off the, uh, the entire map. But I figured out where to go. Anyway, I think it's right here. Uh, oh, there's a toolbox here. What do we got? 
Yeah, but boy, we've got nothing in our inventory. But yeah, like, uh, don't don't search around this whole area. Just come right to the center spot because everything else is broken. There we go. All right. Cool. So okay, so now we're in the subway. Interesting. So beforehand, whenever we were Alan, the subway entrance was on the other side. I need to get up to the street and find that statue. Okay. What can we get come through here? There we go. That's a fake memory. Don't read anything into that. Man, we're getting a lot of batteries. That's coming out. That makes me nervous. Yeah, let's take the. Um, can I take those? No. Okay. Enough already. Oh, okay, so now we're in this one. Okay. Okay. I choke on these words. I don't want to choke on anything, dude. There's the shoebox. Let's get him. The clicker. What's this? Some kind of bullet. Bullet of light. Shining with light. How did the clicker get here from Washington? Okay. Oh, we've got to escape. Okay, I wasn't really expecting that, but okay. Okay, so how do we get out of here? That's the question. We go through here? No. All right. We'll figure this out. Um, so we have to go through a door? There we go. Oh, answer the phone. There we go. Let's go. the clicker would be there. This is important. Alan's lost. He doesn't have the ending. He needs your help to finish the story. How am I supposed to help him from here? Okay. So how are we supposed to help him from here? Okay, okay we need to go to the mine place. I'm in the dark place. Wake is in Washington. I could talk to him in overlaps before. My mind place is more powerful than I ever knew. I can try to okay. contact him. You get to a safe spot. Let's just hang out here real quick and go in here. <laughs> okay. Profiling. Wake. What do we have here? We need to talk. Alan. We need to talk about the ending. Saga. What is this? My mind place. I've reached out to you like this before. But I understand more about it now. You see a visions too. I used to think they were ideas, inspiration, but they're real. Just like this now. I try to use them to make the story come true. So this is coming from both of us. Maybe that's how we could communicate in the overlaps. We could use this to stop Scratch. First, I need the ending. Okay. Is there a problem? So there's a problem with the ending? I don't have the ending. It has to be perfect, but I don't have time to figure it out. I don't know what to do. Fuck. I'm so sorry. This whole thing is a fucking mess. I agree. But we can still figure this out. And what exactly does perfect mean? The elements of the ending need to come from the story's pre-existing parts. To make matters worse, this is a horror story. Okay, so... Oh, jeez, we got a couple more here. Horror story. You don't need to tell me this is a horror story. Right. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. There must be a way to bring a hero into the story. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. 
Okay, so we have already seen this. Parts of it, anyway. Pre-existing parts. So the ending has to be earned. Set up by the story. You can't build a case without supporting evidence. That's the only way to make it stick. Okay. Logan and Casey must survive. I can't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. I have an idea how to help Casey. He's a real person who I twisted into a character. He isn't my creation, so he isn't a suitable host for the Dark Presence. I can write that into the ending to drive that fucking thing out of it. Okay, how I see the ending. Well, if the ending has to fit the story. This is how I see it. Return is a story about a story that comes true. And I'm a character in the story. Not just a character. The hero. Okay, a hero. <laughs> in any case, I've been through hell to be here. And this is my life. It feels earned to me that I rise above the story and be there to create the ending. Yes. That's what we're doing. Here, now. We're figuring out the ending I need to write. Okay, this is not your ending. This isn't Scratch's ending. But this isn't your ending either. This is our ending. You aren't the only one deciding these things anymore. You're right. I can't do this alone. Every time I write, things only get worse. You beat this thing back in 2010, Alan. And here you are doing the same again. You're a hero too. We're in this together. Then let's bring it home. All right, the price must be paid. The ending will have to be dark, no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost, and the hero must pay the price. One of the heroes. The scales always need to balance. <sighs> Fuck it. Let's go with this. Are you sure? There's no time for anything better. Scratch could be here any second. Then that's our ending. I have the clicker. I'll find a way to get it to you. And I'll get the pages down. See you on the other side. Okay. Who, buddy? So we're about to about to run into the end. I need to okay. retrace my steps back to Caldera Street Plaza. I arrived in the dark place through the fountain. Maybe I can leave that way too. Okay. So return the plaza through the subway station. So we got to go back there. Okay. It's rude. I'm called for, dude. I'm not gonna waste anything. Let's just run. Let's just run. Okay. Caldera Plaza is back through the subway. I have okay, to let's hide. go. Let's go. Oh, things changed. Oh, they didn't change. I just am an idiot and didn't see all this other stuff down here. Let me grab this stuff real quick. We're probably gonna need it, especially if it's ammo. First aid. I'll take that too. That's fine. Okay. I knew one of them was going to be bad. Okay. Wait a second. Where'd the door go? Oh, oh wait. It's right here. There we go. I thought it was further down. <laughs> okay. Let's get through the fountain. Let's go. Finished it. 
The ending we talked about. I have the clicker and the bullet of light. Let's do this. I have to be the one to do it. I feel like I've always been on this journey. Okay. It must end here, this darkness. What lies under the surface now shifts. A play of shadows catching my eye, thrusting my face into the water. He's here. It's shockingly cold. Past the mirror of the surface. And I will see. Okay, see? The end. Scratch. Bell. For a flash pierces the shadows and reveals the hidden horror. And in that moment of silence, the whispered message finally heard. Come on, you Come on! Come on! What if there's nothing waiting to be revealed? The play of shadows fool us all, subterfuge to get our price of admission. Darkness not as a monster, but as emptiness. We're none the wiser. No answers, no truths. The hero turns to look inside. Is destroyed by what he sees, and is redeemed. Saga said we're both heroes. I'll pay that price. So will she. We are here to kill the monster. I pray nothing comes after this. Nothing but sleep. This is how we win. Is it too easy? What if this is still the dark place, another dream to wake up from, always coming back to the beginning? The memory of what came before burned away by this terrible realization. Maybe it's a mercy, forgetting, to know nothing when we loop around, back to the... is just for you. After the haunting started, I got in touch with an organization that was still looking into what happened in Bright Falls. I went to their offices and something happened there. After I got home, I could suddenly remember everything. I remembered being trapped inside that lake, a dark ocean with, with Echoes of myself, my, my, my fears, my photos. Inside a dark tide of, of madness, the same events and images looping again and again. And then I saw a light. Your light. You dove in just as I swam out. You never drowned. And you're still there reaching out. That is what the haunting is. I can see you because I've been there too. I chose to come back to the dark place. That is why I put on this exhibition. I had to mislead you so that I could get you to where you needed to be. The only way out of your loop is destruction or ascension, light or dark. And we've covered the destruction part many times over. And we're getting to the ascension bit by bit. Time means nothing here. You'll still need to go through the loop. But I will keep showing you the images you need to see, the light you need to see, until you're ready. Ellen, I think we're getting close. <gasps> it's not a loop. It's a spiral.
All right, so that was the first ending that you can get in Alan Wake 2. So it's a spiral, which means that we have to play the game again to get the true ending, I think. So we're gonna have to go back through it. So this won't be the final video for Alan Wake 2. We're gonna do the final draft and we're also going to be doing Night Springs. And then eventually they're coming out with a second expansion, which um, I forget what it's called. It's called the Lake House. I just looked at it. So it's called the Lake House. But yeah, we're gonna be getting into that as well. So there's gonna be a bunch more on this to come. I might record Night Springs and release it before the final ending. That way it's out there and you guys have something to watch. But this has been fun. This game was so good. It was so well made. The music and just the acting and everything was just fantastic and it's such a good story. But yeah, like it looks like we don't really know if it worked since it's a spiral and it's not really a loop and everything's just kind of, I don't know. Like we, we had to kill Alan to release Scratch, but he didn't really die. And I, Alice is still alive too. She went into the lake in order to help Alan get through that and come out of the lake. But thank you guys so much for sticking with me through the series. Like I said, it's not done yet. We'll get there, but uh, but thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.